Hey guys, hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is April from the Resellers Learning Curve. As you can see, I am representing today. Got on my Overland t-shirt. Um, I think a lot of my videos I have on Overland gear. I know in at least one of my videos I have on my Overland Under Armour um, hoodie, but yeah, Overland OC represent. So, I'm shooting a haul video today because it's been so long since I shot a haul video. And I know people in my group have been asking me for haul videos and asking me for sourcing advice. So I wanted to just very quickly, as I always do, just kind of go over what I bought today. So let me start by telling you guys the story. Today I met up with a girlfriend of mine um, <clears throat> up in the Akron area. We actually specifically went to the Canal Fulton and Foxborough Goodwill stores. So I only went to two stores today. Um, sourced like a mad person. I literally spent about an hour and a half in each store. Unfortunately, the first store we went in, there wasn't very much men's stuff. So I ended up today, I have like majority ladies items. And I, I like ladies items and the more that I sell ladies items I like them even more but you know me you know that I prefer to find men's items so I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you guys all of this stuff this covered my entire bed but I want to show you my favorite items from my haul today and like I said this came from two stores the Canal Fulton store and the Foxborough store which are two Goodwills that I've never been to um, they're actually part of the Cleveland region which I didn't know until it came time to pull out my rewards card I actually I have a rewards card for the Youngstown region the Cleveland region the um, Akron region. I have a lot of Goodwill rewards cards because I do a lot of Goodwill shopping everywhere from Pennsylvania all the way up through Cleveland. And sometimes I just, you know, take a trip and go shopping. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about in my haul video today is blue jeans. Someone asked in my Facebook group, and if you're not a member, it's called the Resellers Learning Curve on Facebook. Someone asked in my Facebook group about jeans recently. What jeans do you sell? Because you see them at every thrift store. The only problem as I see it is thrift stores usually charge a premium price for denim, even if it's not premium denim. So personally, I'm very, very picky about the denim that I pick up. But when someone posted the question in my Facebook group, the first thing I said was, my favorite brand to pick up for men is Adriano Goldschmied. So I got two pair of jeans today. I think they're both men, but I haven't looked into them yet. In case you are not familiar with the tag, there's an A and a G. I'm trying to get it to focus. And it says Adriano Goldschmied. So this model is Protégé Straight Leg, and I'm almost positive that these are men because I've sold Protégé before. And the second model that I have, which as you can see, also Adriano Goldschmidt, these are the Graduate uh, Tailored Leg. So they're a little bit slimmer cut at the bottom than the straight leg, but these will do really well. My AG Men's Blue Jeans, I usually sell for $40 and up. Um, this pair I paid six dollars for and this pair I paid six dollars for and there's something in one of the pockets so I'm gonna have to look into that um, the next thing I wanted to show you guys is I posted in the group yesterday about selling Banana Republic and J Crew items and how for a long time I was a reseller snob and anytime someone asked me about these items I would say I don't sell mall brands well I sell mall brands now. I've been selling mall brands. I'm knee deep in mall brands, especially when it comes to Banana Republic and J. Crew. So I have these two pair of pants here, uh, Banana Republic and Banana Republic. As you can see, I have them together. There's a reason. Both of these are a size 10, which means I'm going to do a lot. I'm going to create a lot of these pants and I'm going to sell them together and it's going to be awesome. Um, both of these were $4 a pair. My theory about lighting items is it's half the work for double the money. So whenever I have items in the same size, I always light them. There are things that I pick up if they're in multiples that I would never pick up if it was just one item in a thrift store. These are some of those items. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you guys is something that I'm not selling, something that I'm keeping, but I just wanted to show you so you'll have an idea of the quality of stuff the Banana Republic's making. So I have these pants here. 
Banana Republic. But as you can see, those are size 12, which happens to be your girl's size. But I'm keeping these. These are a, I'm going to see if I can focus that in. You can't see it. They are 51% linen, 49% silk. Yo, I'm about to rock these. It's that season. Um, I'm going to try not to get any stains on them because I can't see me being into them for beyond a season. But I'm about to rock these so, so hard. Linen Silk Banana Republic pants. I mean, they feel amazing. They feel like a million bucks. So, and they just, they look all shiny and expensive. I'm all into these. Those are mine. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you guys, notice how these two pair of pants are together? A lot. Half the work, double the money. These pants are Theory, which a friend of mine, hey Jenny Benny, a friend of mine recently told me, um, she sent me a text and said that this was a brand she wasn't previously aware of, but since I mentioned it, I want to say in my Chicago haul video, she's been picking it up and doing well with it. So for those of you who aren't familiar, it's just a black tag and it says Theory. Both of these pants happen to be a size six, so I'm going to lot them together. Um, one pair was $6. And the other pair was $4. So I'm into these two pair of pants for $10. bucks. i will get $50, bucks for two pair of Theory pants. Minimum. Easy. Easy. That's no brainer. Definitely. Anytime you see Theory anything, pants, suits, dresses, whatever, always pick it up. Women's, men's, it doesn't matter. If it's Theory, jump on that. The next thing I got is this brand new with tags, men's Ralph Lauren pants. As you can see, so that's a Ralph Lauren tag. These are the Sienna pant, pleated front, classic fit. Um, obviously, new with tags. And these are a 40 by 32. The retail price on them is $80, but I pay four bucks. Four bucks. So, with Ralph Lauren items, new with tags, you can usually get about 70% of the retail price out of these items because it's Ralph and Ralph never goes out of style. So that's another thing that I picked up for four bucks. These $85 Ralph Lauren pants. Those are going to do super well. So the next thing I want to get into with you guys is the stuff that I've already put on hangers. This might be one of my longer videos. Um, I'm about halfway done, but there's definitely some highlights that I want to show you. Before I continue with the clothes, let me stop and say that in my um, workroom, I have a couple of hard good type items. I have an AT&T um, phone set. The cordless phone unit with the central date the central base and all of that stuff i'm gonna send that in to amazon i paid six dollars for the phone and they're going fifty dollars and up used on amazon so that's going to be fba another thing that i got was a hometics luxury spa it's some device that you detect you, you attach to the side of your tub and i think it makes bubbles not really sure what it does but i opened it up from a first glance, it appeared to be new. I paid five bucks for that. They're going for $45 and up on eBay. And the sell through rate was pretty incredible on that. So I picked that up. And the most expensive item that I bought today is way too big and bulky for me to show you guys. I bought this huge, and when I say huge, I mean huge. Um, it's a party travel cooler. It got wheels. It has a beer opener. It has... It has a whole stand that goes with it. It's by Tommy Bahama. I paid $75 for that cooler. I think it was a salvage item that Goodwill got, and you know how they are with their pink ticket items. Well, here in Ohio, it's the pink ticket items that they get donated from retail places, and they mark them up usually higher than the retail place had them sometimes. But that Tommy Bahama cooler, I paid $75 for it because when I looked at the sold listings on eBay, Number, there was only one that had not sold, and the rest of them all had sold. Um, and the one that I have, the particular model and color that I have, the most recent one that sold, sold for $230. So I figure, pick that up for $75, sell it for $230, I'm doing pretty good there. I'm still doubling my money after the cost to buy the cooler. So... Those are items that I picked up that I'm not going to be able to show you because I don't have them here. I just pulled out all the clothes to show you guys. Okay, so moving on in the haul video, the next thing I have is a tuxedo. Look at that, tuxedo. Um, brand is, let me see if I can show it to you, Givenchy. Now, I didn't know it was Givenchy until Beyonce's formation. <laughs> 
before that, I just said Givenchy. <laughs> That's what I would have thought it is, but it's actually Givenchy. Um, this is a really nice tuxedo. I looked up the solds on these, and these go for like a hundred bucks at least. So I paid ten dollars for this tuxedo, and like I said, that'll sell for a hundred dollars. Um, the next item I got is not notable, except for you see Daniel Cremieux. Um, what's notable about it, and the only reason I got it, is right here. And if you resell men's clothes, you already know what it is. That Laurel Piana tag. Um, that adds so much value to items because Laurel Piana literally makes the best um, wool products in the world. So I picked up this Daniel Cremieu suit because it has the Laurel Piana tag. And the final suit I picked up is this navy blue beautiful suit beautiful it's just it's a such amazing condition and if you see the brooks brothers tag like it's a more recent suit it's not one of the old vintage joints although you know i hustle the old vintage joints too but this suit is just in amazing condition um and it's two button which is your most desirable style it's got the single vent uh not working cuffs but that would have really just been over the top if it had but those are the three suits that I picked up today. So moving on, um, I got a pair of rag and bone jeans. And these were $4, which is the only reason I picked them up. Because rag and bone is actually, it's a good brand. I know it's a good brand. People love it. Not something that I personally sell a lot of. It's not the the customer base that typically hangs out in my store and buys repeat stuff. But for four bucks, I could definitely hustle these. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you guys is, you know how I said if I could buy something in lots, it makes a better case for me than buying it individually. Like this is one of those cases. I got three of these sweatshirts and these are Abercrombie, Abercrombie and Fitch um, crew neck muscle shirts, all three of these. And they were six bucks a piece. But the reason that I have them all and have them folded like this is because I'm going to sell them as a lot. They're either new with tags, new without tags, but, and they're also a 2X, which is a big and tall size. So Abercrombie 2X, lot of three new shirts. I'm going to sell these together. These were six bucks a piece. So I'm into them for $18. Um, so that means I'll have to charge like 50, 50 bucks, 50, 60 dollars for this lot. But somebody will come around and pay that because I'm guessing, and I don't have any proof of this, but if I had to take a wild guess, I would guess that one of these shirts cost about 50 bucks. Ah, look, I found a tag. $40 US, $50 Canada. So yep, I was right on. About one of these shirts cost 50 bucks. So actually, I'll probably do $69.99 for the lot of three. And somebody's going to snag those up. It's back to school. Some mom is out there with a kid that just loves Abercrombie. And she's sitting here at the end of July wondering, how am I about to buy this kid all this Abercrombie that he won't? And he's super big, wearing a 2X. What am I going to do? Well, I'm about to solve her problem because I'm about to put that lot up. That's going to fly off the shelves because it's back to school season and high school kids love Abercrombie. Okay, so uh, the next thing I want to show you guys, I don't have a lot more here because I'm actually not going to go through that pile of stuff that I have behind me other than to show you guys this really cute Banana Republic dress and why I love to hustle Banana Republic. Look at that. That is just so cute. I, I love it. I just love it. Um, I wish I was a size... Two. No, I don't. I don't wish I was a size two. But this is a cute dress, and this will do really well. This Banana Republic dress I actually paid up for. It was $7. But I'll get $30, $35 bucks for this dress. It's, I'm just going to have to wait on the right buyer to come along. This whole pile of things right here, these are all cabby, C-A-B-I. I'll show you a tag. Oh, these pants. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that lining. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. Look at the buttons. Look at the buttons. Oh, just amazing. So I got these pants that are cabby, this high-low shirt, which honestly, I the video doesn't do it justice. It has like an overlay silk layer on the top. It's just amazing. This shirt's going to do really well. Um, this is a really cute shirt too for somebody that's that size. Like I said, all of these are cabby items. And I think they're just, they're all really nice items. This is a cabbie item, which is just this pretty sheer top blouse. 
Um, and yeah, that's all for that. So I'm looking around and there's nothing else that I feel like you guys have to see. I want to show you one label before I leave that you probably aren't going to see a lot. You don't see a lot. It's a brand that people talked about when I first started reselling. But quite frankly, it's just so obscure. You don't see it that often that people don't know to pick it up. So I got this men's shirt at the first store we stopped at because it was $4. And here's the tag. The tag is Hilditch and Key. Hilditch and Key. Um... What you need to know about this. This shirt's French cuffs. It has French cuffs, which is, I mean, it's neither here nor there. Um, all of these items are bespoke for the most part. And in here, it actually says bespoke. They're made in London. Um, and it's one of the Savile Row tailors, actually. And if you don't know what Savile Row is, please look it up because you need to know what it is. Um, I have a bunch of Holland and Sherry suits in my workroom. Not a bunch. I have like three Holland and Sherry suits that I picked up from my local Goodwill a week or two ago. And that's also a Savile Row tailor. So you want to get to know those brands. You want to you wanna kind of like nail down the the little details that make things special. I picked this shirt up because looking, if you look around the collar, like there's no damage around the collar. There's no stain. So somebody paid to have this shirt custom made and then they just didn't wear it very much. So um, it's in great condition. There's not a lot of them on eBay. So it should sell pretty well. And that, my friends, is all I have for you guys today. So I hope that you learned something from this video. Like I said, definitely one of the longer videos I made. But um, this is some good stuff that I had in this haul. So I wanted to share it with you. As always, thank you so much for everybody that watches. Thank you so much for every single one of you that have subscribed. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the emails. Thank you for the encouragement. I appreciate it like from the bottom of my heart I appreciate you because without you guys on YouTube and in the Facebook group I wouldn't necessarily feel motivated to make these videos so I want you to know that I do this for you not for any other reason other than the people who asked me to continue making content to help them learn how to make a living selling on eBay and Amazon um, the next video that I shoot will be all about my upcoming course and consulting combo. So if you have questions about that, I know you're probably watching this like, why didn't she say anything about it? Well, I'm going to make a whole video and kind of tell people the details of when that's coming, how it's going to work, and how much it costs because obviously it's not going to be free. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. I hope you're having a profitable day and be easy.